Few people are prepared for what's about to happen in the first quarter of 2026. Tesla has just confirmed that the highly anticipated Pi phone will finally be released with a starting price that seems like an April Fool's joke. Just use $789. That's right, a premium device with top-of-the-line specifications, integration with the Tesla ecosystem, and technologies never seen in other smartphones for a price that's already giving many people at Apple and Samsung sleepless nights. While the iPhone 17 arrives at almost double that price, the Pi phone enters the market with a bang, promising not only to compete, but to dominate. The most robust model with one terabyte of storage also doesn't intend to scare the wallet. It shouldn't exceed $1,799. In a world where most flagship smartphones easily surpass $1,500, Tesla's decision to keep prices low seems part of a much more ambitious strategy to transform the phone into an accessible gateway to the company's entire ecosystem. Cars, energy, AI, satellite internet, all in a single device. And when Elon Musk puts a low price on something of cutting-edge technology, it's a sign that he's not just selling a product, he's establishing his territory. Since the leak of the first prototypes, it has been rumored that the goal was to offer a universal remote control for Tesla. And now, the reason for such an aggressive price tag is clear. Elon Musk wants the Pi phone to be more than just a phone. He wants it to be the digital heart of the Tesla experience. Just as the iPhone was once the center of Apple's mobile revolution, the Pi phone is being positioned as the gateway to a new era, where everything Tesla offers can be accessed with a single touch. The most curious thing is that, unlike the marketing tactics of its competitors, Tesla is being strangely direct about what it will deliver. No surprise at the event. Everything is being announced in advance, as if Musk wanted to make it clear that there are no tricks. What's at stake here is trust. Trust that it's possible to deliver a better phone for less. Trust that it's possible to break the vicious cycle of superficial updates and inflated prices. And, frankly, this shakes up the market as a whole. There's also a psychological factor involved. When you look at the price of the Pi phone, it's not just the numerical value that's impressive. It's what it represents. A Tesla phone for less than $800 is almost a declaration of war. It's as if Musk is saying, we're not going to play your game anymore. We're going to create our own. And looking at the reaction, it seems he hit the nail on the head. Many people who never thought about buying a Tesla are saying they'll start with this very device. Ultimately, it makes sense. You don't need a car to have a cell phone. But if you have a Tesla, that cell phone will be the best possible companion. Now, if you don't yet have the car, Buying the Pi phone might be the first step, and then the plan starts to make even more sense. It's the famous win at the beginning, dominate the ecosystem. Whoever enters through the cell phone can very well leave driving a Model Y, installing a power wall, or connecting with Starlink. The Pi phone becomes the initial link. Another thing that stands out is Elon Musk's courage in betting heavily on a sector that many consider saturated. Apple, Samsung, Google, all fighting for crumbs, delivering minimal changes year after year. Tesla bursts in with big promises, an affordable price, and, most curiously, without seeming concerned about the risks. It's as if the company is fully aware that the world is ready for something new and that the time has come to break the predictable sequence of smartphones. The biggest surprise, however, isn't the price or the absurd camera, it's in the sky, literally. What really made the market pause was the official announcement that the Tesla Pi phone will be the first smartphone in history to come with completely free and lifetime Starlink internet. No SIM card, no plan, no carrier. Just turn on the device and that's it. Global, instant connection, without paying a cent. This isn't just a technological leap, it's a complete disruption of the carrier's business model. And yes, some people are already losing sleep over it. Imagine being able to watch videos, make calls, reply to messages, 
or play online games, even when you're in the middle of the desert or on top of a mountain. Tesla's proposition is precisely that, total coverage of the planet. It doesn't matter if you're in New York, the Sahara, or sailing in the middle of the ocean. Wherever there's sky, there will be signal. And with low latency, it should be noted. It's not that slow emergency connection. We're talking about real performance with enough stability for video conferencing, streaming, and even real-time online gaming. Another detail that caught attention was the so-called low latency gaming mode, something that gamers understood as a direct punch to the gut of current 5G networks. While iPhones and Androids still suffer from signal variations, the Pi phone promises automatic prioritization of data packets, guaranteeing a fast and fluid response even in unstable connectivity environments. It's almost like carrying a gaming router in your pocket, only with a signal coming from space. And the best part, no bill at the end of the month. But it doesn't stop there. Tesla also confirmed that the Pi phone will be compatible with the new Starlink satellite messaging system, which will allow SMS and data sending even without a nearby cell tower. This means that, in emergency situations, while traveling or in isolated locations, the user will always be connected. And this isn't a promise for the future. T, it's already in the final stages of integration with the new generation of Starlink V2 satellites, which have electromagnetic propulsion, laser links, and 4X greater coverage than previous ones. And if you think that's an exaggeration, it's worth remembering. Apple barely managed to offer emergency satellite messaging with severe limitations and high costs. Tesla, on the other hand, is delivering unlimited messaging, calls, and data without intermediaries. And there's more. The mesh function between Tesla devices promises something unprecedented. In areas with signal blockage, a Pi phone can connect to another and relay the connection via satellite, creating an intelligent coverage mesh between nearby users. This changes everything in expeditions, humanitarian crises, or regions without infrastructure. Another point that caught our attention was the automatic update capability of the connection system, thanks to the OTAA over-the-air activation protocol. This means that as the Starlink satellite constellation evolves, and it will evolve quickly, the Pi phone will evolve along with it, without needing to be replaced. A device that improves over time, without forcing you to buy a new one every year. It seems utopian, but Musk is actually putting it into practice. The most curious thing is that all of this comes wrapped in a simple proposition. Freedom. Freedom to go anywhere and always be connected. Freedom to no longer depend on absurd data plans. Freedom to not be tied to contracts, packages, or operators. It's an idea that resonates especially strongly with those who live in countries with limited or expensive internet. And believe me, that represents more than half the world's population. The impact of this goes far beyond the American consumer. It's a global game changer. And with all this connected directly to the sky, the last thing anyone wants is to worry about a power outlet. Tesla knew this and decided to solve the problem once and for all. The Pi phone comes with a colossal 6897 VDMH battery, enough to keep the device running for five days straight with moderate use. This isn't marketing exaggeration. These are real numbers that put current flagships to shame. While other devices beg for a power bank in the middle of the day, the Pi phone simply keeps working, and working well. But what makes this even more interesting is that Tesla didn't sacrifice design or comfort to achieve this range. No thick, heavy cell phones. The secret lies in aluminum ion battery technology, a direct advancement from Tesla's storage designs in electric vehicles and power walls. These cells are lighter, safer, have higher energy density, and virtually don't heat up. This means the user gets more power, less bulk, and zero worries about overheating. And it's not just the battery life that impresses. Recharging is another highlight. With Pulse Charge X technology, inspired by Tesla's superchargers, 
The Pi phone can go from 0% to 80% in about 10 to 15 minutes. And the most surprising thing, without compromising battery life. Unlike other brands that deliver fast charging based on forced heating, Tesla created a system that balances speed and longevity using active thermal control. It's a smarter approach and healthier for the device. Moreover, this directly addresses a long-standing criticism from the public. Why do cell phones last so little time? Musk seems to have taken this seriously. The internal structure of the Pi phone was designed to avoid aggressive wear cycles, and the XOS system itself monitors and optimizes energy consumption in real time. It's almost like having a battery technician working silently inside the phone, making intelligent decisions to preserve each cell. Anyone who has ever been stranded with 10% battery left knows the value of that. And there's another bold move in this package, the auxiliary solar charging mode. Yes, the Pi phone comes with photovoltaic panels integrated into the rear body, capable of providing extra charge in outdoor situations, such as trails, camping, or even long walks. It's not a complete replacement for a wall outlet, of course, but it's enough to ensure the device doesn't die when you need it most. It's another nod to the total independence the device aims to offer. And if anyone still doubts the robustness of this battery, just remember that it's not just powering a phone. It's keeping a command center running with Starlink, embedded AI, a professional camera system, smart sensors, and a high-performance display. That's without even mentioning parallel features like connectivity with vehicles, robots, and home devices. All of this requires energy, and the Pi phone is clearly ready to handle that demand without any fuss. Another little discussed but extremely relevant advantage is the device's passive thermal management. No more strange overheating in your pocket or loss of performance after a few minutes of intense use. Tesla applied the same principle used in its vehicles, intelligent heat control through internal dissipation layers and materials that prevent hot spots. The result? A phone that doesn't overheat when you play games, record video, or use AI, maintaining consistent performance at all times. If the battery already made an impact, the Pi phone's camera simply redefines what a cell phone can capture. Elon Musk decided to completely ignore the marketing game of dual lenses and incremental sensors and bet big, a 200 megapixel ultravision sensor capable of absorbing five times more light than current top of the line models. This allows for extremely sharp photos, even in almost completely dark environments. Something that, let's face it, is the real challenge in mobile photography. While the iPhone 17 struggles with graininess in night mode, the Pi phone delivers crystal clear images, almost as if it had built-in night vision. And it's not just megapixel by megapixel. The main camera is integrated with the Neural Fusion Artificial Intelligence System, which analyzes, adjusts, and enhances each capture in real time. Tesla's AI not only understands what is being photographed, but also applies intelligent corrections to exposure, contrast, sharpness, and depth, respecting the reality of the scene. It's not that exaggerated filter that turns everything into a cartoon. It's a subtle, almost imperceptible optimization that makes all the difference. The optical system also features a 130-degree ultra-wide lens and a telephoto lens with 10x optical zoom and up to 100x hybrid zoom. And before anyone says that's an exaggeration, it's worth remembering that Musk considers the camera the main sensor of Tesla's future, whether in cars, robots, or in your pocket. The idea is not just to capture beautiful images, but to create a bridge between the physical world and the AI perception layer. And at this point, the Pi phone starts to look less like a cell phone and more like an intelligent digital eye. For those who record videos, the leap is also immense. The Pi phone records in 8K at 60 frames per second, with advanced hyperstabilizer 2.0 stabilization, guaranteeing fluidity even in motion. Action videos, sports, vlogs, footage on the go, 
Everything looks like it came from a professional production, and this without needing a gimbal or external equipment. The phone recognizes movement, predicts trajectories, and compensates for every vibration with incredible precision. This completely changes what's possible to do with a phone in hand. Another detail worth highlighting is how the system performs in challenging lighting environments, such as nightclubs, concerts, and dimly lit restaurants. Instead of resorting to heavy post-processing or aggressive flash, Neural Fusion works with multiple instant exposures, merging the best elements of each into a single image. The result is a natural photo, without blown-out whites or washed-out shadows. For those who love capturing real moments, this technology makes all the difference. And then there's the interactive side with the Grok AI. By pointing the camera at objects, places, people, or text, the system can recognize, interpret, and respond in real time. Want to know the name of a plant? The camera tells you. Want to translate a menu in another language? The camera solves it. Want to identify a car part or compare prices in real time? It does that too. It's a fusion of computer vision and practical utility that no other brand has delivered so seamlessly to date. Now, imagine what this represents within the Tesla ecosystem. A single sensor in your pocket, capable of feeding an autonomous car with visual context, communicating with an Optimus robot, or even helping an AI make decisions based on what it sees. It's no exaggeration to think that this camera will actually be one of the main sensory nodes of the entire Tesla network, a device that sees, understands, and acts, all at the same time. With so much power inside, the Pi phone's body couldn't be less impressive. And, as expected, Elon Musk didn't leave it to chance. The device's outer structure is made of grade 6 titanium, the same material used in the aerospace industry and tested within Giga Texas itself. While other brands still treat titanium as a luxury limited to pro versions, Tesla has made it standard, and this completely changes the user's relationship with the device. Here, there's no fear of scratches, drops, or deformation. The phone is practically armor. Even with this incredible durability, the Pi phone manages to be surprisingly light and comfortable in the hand. This is because grade 6 titanium besides being strong, is incredibly lightweight. Unlike devices that use aluminum or stainless steel, which are heavier and yet less resistant, the Pi phone delivers a solid tactile feel, but without excessive weight. It's like holding something custom-made with the perfect balance between durability and ergonomics. It seems small, but it makes a difference in daily use. Now, let's talk about the screen, which is another masterpiece. The Pi phone comes with an OLED AMOLED 2X display that can reach up to 6.9 inches in the most advanced versions. The brightness reaches an impressive 3200 nits, meaning you can use the phone in bright sunlight without losing visibility. Furthermore, the refresh rate is adaptive and reaches 144 hertz, offering an ultra-smooth visual experience, especially when scrolling, watching videos, or playing games. And when the content is static, the refresh rate automatically drops to save battery. Simple and brilliant. Another point that demonstrates Tesla's attention to usability is the sapphire glass that protects the display. This material is not only scratch resistant, it is also highly transparent, which improves image quality. To top it off, the glass receives a hydrophobic and oleophobic treatment, which basically means Goodbye to fingerprints, dripping water, or stuck on dirt. It's the kind of detail that seems small, but transforms the experience with the device on a daily basis. And here's a point that I personally find brilliant. Design as an expression of purpose. Nothing was put into the Pi phone for purely aesthetic reasons. The materials, the curves, the fittings, everything conveys a feeling that the device was made to last to accompany the user for many years.